A good evening to all of you and welcome to Fairydale Theatre. On today's presentation, we share the story of a little girl's visit to her grandmother's house and a very close encounter with the biggest, baddest wolf of the Great Forest. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a cottage near the forest. The little girl loved to wear a red cloak everywhere she went. So, all the villagers called her Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red! Little Red! Yes, Mother! Yes, Mother, I'm coming! One day, Little Red Riding Hood heard that her grandmother was poorly. So she decided to visit. The red, little red, your grandmother is not feeling well. Can you bring her basket of goodies to cheer her up? Yes, mother. This is the basket full of jam, bread, and cupcakes. Remember, we could always stay in the park and never ever talk to strangers. Yes, mother. And so, with a basket full of goodies, Little Red set off to her grandmother's cottage deep in the forest. Halfway to grandma's house, a wolf appeared in front of Little Red. The wolf greeted Little Red sweetly with a smile. Where are you off to, my dear? Hello, Mr. Wolf. I'm going to see my grandmother. She's poorly, so I'm going to take her this basket of cakes to make her feel better. The wolf was very, very hungry. Mmm, mmm, mmm. She would make a tasty meal. Mm, mm, mm. And her grandmother too. A race ahead to her grandmother's cottage and eat both of them all up. And have those cakes, bread and jam for dessert. I like a red riding hood too. Why, that's awfully nice of you to bring your grandma some goodies. I'm sure I'll enjoy eating her. Um, I meant I'm sure she'll enjoy eating them. Take this shortcut through the trees to your grandmother's cottage. It's much quicker than the path. Bye bye, little girl. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Little Red Riding Hood remembered her mother's words, but she was feeling very tired. So she skipped off the path and into the forest, leaving the wolf to dash towards. Grandmother's Grandmother was just about to reach for her knitting bag when there was a knock at the door. Who is it? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, my dear. Oh, it's a wolf. Grandma shrieked when she saw a big oh, no. bad wolf walk oh, no. through the door. She was so afraid that she leapt out of bed and into the wardrobe, locking the door behind her. Oh, Grandma, where are you? I know you're hiding somewhere. Oh my, what a comfortable bed. I'll just jump right in and wait for Little Red Riding Hood. Or maybe Grandma, if she happens to come back.
Little Red soon arrived at the, her grandmother's cottage. She knocked on the front door. Good morning, grandmother. It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> I have come to visit you with a basket of cakes, bread, and jam. Hello, Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, grandmother, what a deep voice you have. I'm feeling poorly, my dear. Now come closer so I can eat you. No! 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 Mm, so that we can eat those cakes. I'm very, very hungry, you know. Little Red stared at her grandmother. Something is very strange about grandmother today. Grandma, what a big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. Grandma, what big ears you have! All the better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have! All the better to eat you with. The big bad wolf chased Little Red Riding Hood around the cottage. The wolf was roaring. Little Red was screaming, and Grandmother was crying in the wardrobe. Could this be the end? The big bad wolf eats Little Red Riding Hood for lunch, and maybe Grandmother for dinner. Do you hear that boy? Woof 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 woof. No, I thought I hear a girl screaming. Woof 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 woof. Girl girl, not woof. Come, let's go check it out. Just then, a woodsman arrived at the grandmother's cottage. After he and his dog had heard all the noise, he was wondering what was going on. The woodsman looked in the window and saw the big bad wolf. Wolf? Yes, that is what I say. Wolf, wolf. The woodsman broke into the cottage and stop. The wolf saw the woodsman and the sharp axe and yelped in fright. The woodsman chased the wolf out of grandmother's cottage. Oh, no. into the forest and was never seen again. Grandma! Wow! Well, Little Red Riding Hood, next time remember to stay on the path. Yes, Grandmother, and I will never speak to a stranger ever again. Wasn't that a spine-chilling story? <laughs> so boys and girls, as we end today's fairy tale theater, I bid you all a good evening. And remember, never talk to strangers with big, sharp, white teeth. You never know, they just might be interested in wearing your grandma's clothes. Mm -hmm. Good night.